Excuse me. Oh, hello, Tim. Is there a problem? Well, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment, and it disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nosepass. Nobody else came in. What could have happened? Hmm. Let's ask Nosepass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nose bar. No nose bar. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? Nose bar. You say that's the truth, huh? Hmm. So it's a closed room robbery. This should be very interesting.
What is it?
Mm. An invisible Pokemon. Water drops at the bridge. Of course, I got it! What are you thinking, Pikachu? <laughs> a bolt of brilliance! Yeah! Tim, I figured it out! Ah! It's important we figure out how the invisible Pokémon committed the crime. Is there testimony that tells us when it got onto the bridge? That's it! The invisible Pokémon fell into the pool, and then it came in with a crew member while it was still wet. Got that? That's why the floor was wet when the crew member left. Now we need to figure out how it stole the mask. After the mask disappeared, was there testimony that helps us figure out how? That's right! Somehow a drink disappeared! That must have been caused by the invisible Pokémon, too. <laughs> I'll bet that anything that Pokémon puts in its mouth becomes invisible. Which means, the mask is in its mouth. Everyone, I have solved the mystery. Haha! <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Tim. Please tell us who's behind this. Right. You got this. You know who did it. The one responsible for the missing item is a certain Pokémon. Pokémon? But how? The captain assured us that he didn't see anything. Right. Nothing suspicious entered or left the room. I'm afraid that you must be mistaken. No. I'm not mistaken at all. I'll tell you exactly how it went down. This specific Pokémon can make itself invisible, so the captain didn't see it. It snuck into the room with the captain and Nosepass and committed the crime while they were distracted. Then... what happened to my bag? The culprit still has your bag, too. And is here in this room... as part of this group. And so is the mysterious Pokémon. Tim, look carefully. You see it, right?
I'll tell you the culprit. You, Gino. What? Is this a joke? I don't know any mysterious Pokémon. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you do. It's Kecleon, and it's right beside you. Uh, boo. Yeah! Oh, the mask! Is this some kind of joke? I don't know this Pokémon. And what is the mask doing here? Still trying to play innocent, aren't you? Tell him what we know, Tim. Gino, you boarded this ship for a reason. To achieve your goal, isn't that right? I don't know what you mean. I came for a vacation, not to achieve a goal. You sure about that? I think the reason you're here is for the secret auction. A secret auction? What are you talking about? Right here's the proof. A list of all the items offered. It has the Henri Brothers recipe book. Coincidence? This is what you really wanted, isn't it? Do you remember what you said earlier? You were close to recreating the recipes of the Henri Brothers? Recipes that were lost forever? That was a lie. You were counting on getting the recipe book, weren't you? <sighs> what was I supposed to do, huh? I ran out of ideas for new menus. I need to amaze my customers, and that's a lot of pressure, all right? Gino, why? You were a genius chef. I never expected you to do something like this. No matter how talented you are, you'll get rusty if you stop trying to improve. Back to washing dishes for you. So Gino was the culprit, huh? All right, I guess that case is closed. I didn't expect there to be a secret auction on this ship. I doubt I could get in, wearing a hoodie. You know what? I'll go investigate. I brought a dress for conducting the interviews. What? I can't let you go alone. It's too dangerous. Don't worry about me. I'm used to getting scoops. I don't know. Hmm. If only we could get past the dress code. It sounds like it's a suit you need. Maybe my husband's jacket would work for you? Are you sure? But it must be very special to you. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help you out. That's so nice of you. Lucky you, Tim. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready to go. Wow. Looking good, Amelia. Tim, look! Uh, uh, uh... You look really great, Amelia. Thanks, Tim. You look pretty sharp, too. That's nice to hear, huh? The suit's more classy than you are, but hey. Oh, you're a very handsome young man. Oh, oh yes, Pikachu, this is for you. Huh? What's that? Ooh. Pikachu, a tie. Miss Rose, thank you so much. <laughs> well, what do you think? Who's the classy one now? I hope that bow tie isn't too tight for him. No problem. It's all in the name of fashion. Crocker, huh? Crocker, Crocker. <sighs> oh, what's up? Is there some kind of problem? Croc, Croc, Crocker, Crocker, Crocker. What are you talking about? Why would you say I look shady? It's not true. You're very rude. Croc. Croc. These goons wouldn't know style if it hit him over the head. Tim, show him our tickets. Hmm. Here you are. Yes, sir, thank you. Yes, very good. Please put these on once you're inside. Kura, Kura. Kraka! <laughs> Kraka, Kura. <laughs> <laughs> hey.
It looks like Keith hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, no sign of a guy with a ponytail. <sighs> What's with the bizarre atmosphere of this place anyway? Tim, over here! Wait up, Pikachu. Amelia, be careful, all right? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anyone suspicious. Thanks. All right. Well, at least these masks should keep our identities somewhat hidden. We're coming for you, Keith. Soon. Hey, Tim. Tim! Thank you. 
this is what will be up for auction before Keith's turn. Let's go take a look at the people here before things are ready to go.
Now let the bidding begin. Any more bidders? There's still time to bid. Any more bidders? There's not much time left. Any more bidders? Item is now sold. Thank you all for your participation. The auction is over. Now let the bidding begin. Any more bidders? There is still time to bid. Any more bidders? Item is now sold. Thank you all for your participation. The auction is over. Tim, you won the bid! I'm so excited for you! It looks like Keith will be the next one up. Just remain cool. Any news? Any news? This could be it. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. I have a very special item to offer you. This is the Astonishing Chemical R. It will draw out the full power of your Pokémon. Not only will R give your Pokémon tremendous power, but it will leave behind absolutely no trace at all once its effects are over. Perhaps some of you in the audience will recall the accident that happened a year ago at Fine Park. That accident was, in fact, caused by R. <gasps> Amelia. Yeah, don't worry. I'm getting all of it. All right, Tim. Now. Excuse me. A question. If you use that chemical, is it possible to cause crimes without being caught? Hmm. Well, of course you could. Oh. That sounds like false advertising, Keith. What? Tell me who you are! So we meet again, Keith. Now, you're coming with us! Scroopy, keep them busy. <laughs> hey.
<laughs> I've been waiting for you, detective. What? I want to show you what R can do. <laughs> Have fun with the Crocorock. What should we do? Oh, that's it. Perfect. Work, Pikachu. Good. Now let's get Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Noivern. Uh, how many tricks does Keith have? I'll see you around, Detective. Don't feel bad. You did the best that you could. Oh no, he's gonna escape. Tim, lift me up to the handrail. What? Just trust me. Come on. Okay. Uh, here I go. <laughs> Why must you keep getting in my way? Noiver! Noiver! Skorupi! Get over here! Groupie! Oh no, you don't! Skorupi! <laughs> You? What are you doing? You're not getting away this time, Keith! How dare you! Let go of me! Oh no! I've got to do something right away! I won't let you escape, Keith! Stop! If I let go, you'll be going down with me too, you know! Guess what? I'm willing to risk that! <laughs> Thank you, Chandelure. Oh my gosh, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for the rescue. You're welcome. Tim, that was great work. That's so cute. Even Pikachu was worried mm -hmm. about you. What's she talking about? You shouldn't be so reckless. You scared me. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you were able to capture him. Good job, Tim. We really appreciate your help. Thanks to you, the whole R case can finally be closed. I'm ashamed we weren't more help to you. But you brought peace to the city. Thank you. But what about... Ah, you're wondering about Harry. Don't worry, we're still looking. You'll know as soon as I do. I promise you that. Thanks. Hate to disappoint you, but you won't be getting any information out of me. What do you mean by that? How am I supposed to know something about a guy who went and got himself into an accident? I can't imagine he'd be alive after going off that cliff, though. <laughs> Don't listen to him. I survived it, and I'm sure Harry did too. <sighs> oh, Tim. Go. Take him away. Well, I hope you all enjoy the exciting parade. Don't worry about it, Pikachu. Yeah. We've just gotta wait. We've captured Keith. Now that should close the R case for good. Infinite. 
So, do you remember your promise now? Yeah. I promised you that I would retrieve your cells. And I also promised to destroy everything regarding R. And now, I've fulfilled my end of the bargain. No, not yet. Some of my cells are still out there. Somewhere. Really? How do you know that? What do you mean, somewhere? That, I cannot say. I can feel them. That is all. Oh man, I hope you're not one of those tedious types. I cannot allow them to remain in the world. I must destroy them with my own hands. Whoa, calm yourself down. Humans cannot be trusted. I have told you this. It seems you have forgotten that as well. Huh? I never heard anything like that before. Oh yeah, I knew you were the tedious type. I would say that all of you are the tedious ones. I will simplify things. I can simply destroy everything with this. No, wait, wait, wait! You stopped me back then as well. The real you, that is. What? You were the one who told me that the human world could be tedious. Which is why I trusted you to take care of things for me. But now, it seems that there are some humans who can be dependable. Hmm? All right, well, just leave it to me.
Of course. They're planning to disperse R during the parade. <sighs> that would be a disaster. But how do they have GNN information? Keith shouldn't know any of this. Good question. Could it be that someone inside GNN is working with Keith? Impossible. For now, let's focus on what we can do. Yeah, you're right. I wish we knew where they're going to disperse R. Let's figure it out from the camera locations and the parade route. Baker can get that information for us. Perfect. Sir, could we use your radio, please? Uh, sure.